Hello, my dear friends! How are you doing? What's in the whole universe? Hope that this fine, the Marishman who brings forward with the more experience. And they're gonna dive into the preparation for the exam that will be on the 14th of September. And it will be on the topic of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and mathematics. About theory of probabilities and also statistics and discrete mathematics and uh, different other stuff inside of the mathematics formulas, XYZ, linear regression, logistic regression, and uh, robust regression. A regression, non-linear regression, and other features. Okay, let's dive into it. It will be kind of the plenty what I should say on the it will be actually a repetition, a rehearsal for the exam. Okay, let's do this together and uh, let's start. First of all, need to talk about what is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence it is the specific systems, intelligent systems uh, from computer actually, and uh, they are working as a person, as a man, as a human, but actually they are kind of right now on this current state of our life they are 10 million times kind of slower than the man's neural networks work actually but uh, yes they are improving and etc actually what is uh, artificial intelligence it is the specific artificial intelligence that to, could work as a man to make life easier to make life kind of uh, to help to the people actually let's use the word uh, help to them yes uh, to help people to work to help people to do some stuff to help people to change some of the repeatful stuff okay and uh, it is the artificial intelligence what is machine learning machine learning it is uh, the subfield of artificial intelligence actually we have Artificial knowledge, machine learning, neural networks, and deep learning inside of it. And machine learning, it is the specific area that uh, contains statistics, also computer science, and uh, it is the application of statistics, application of mathematics, application of computer science in the field of artificial, artificial intelligence. And uh, there we have different types of algorithms and etc. And neural networks, it is already kind of the specific algorithm-ish, yes? And also deep learning, it is the specific algorithms too, without feature extraction, without feature generation, it is, it works but by itself, actually. Because in the previous time, kind of, people were thinking, what uh, should we think about, uh, what are the features for the model, what are the features, how to do this? Actually, about feature we will talk about too. And uh, they are kind of uh, was thinking what is the feature, how to generate it, and uh, how to choose what's uh, for, for example, for words it will be letters, for pictures it will be pixels, and it is the specific features actually that we have for the, some models for some objects. And then in the real life actually we uh, right now have deep learning, and deep learning it is the specific uh, thing that uh, inside of the the, our algorithm has uh, already feature extraction and feature generation as the automatic feature. Actually, it is the uh, in neural network some thing some things are automated and in deep learning they are automated uh, kind of more increasingly expandingly more yes they are kind of uh, in this uh, feature i hope that you understand okay next thing that uh, we have also features yes i said that we have features also we have objects we have also i will use some russian vocabulary actually i don't know what's the name of it in english i know some maybe it is outputs actually because in russia we ha we use as uh, answers we have more we have objects, we have answers, uh, what is, uh, and also we have features. We have, for example, the specific uh, object and we have answer for it, answer that uh, says something about this thing, yes? And I will use right now answer, yes, we can use output actually, but actually I think so, it is kind of answer, output, it will be the same word as I meant as I can mention here in this video, okay? And uh, we have specific objects that are the set of X, 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 uh, X in uppercase, yes, X in uppercase, we can use it, okay, it is kind of this way, and also we have uh, different types of objects, X1, X2, X3, X4, actually set, set it is the specific thing, it is right now a description for people who are maybe not super inside of it, set it is a specific kind of uh, list of things inside of it, yes, and it, it is the set, and we have X that are <laughs> the name of the set, set of X, 
Yes, X set. And also we have X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, XL. Uh, XL means that number of all uh, objects X, uh, it is L. L number. It means that L may be equals to 20, to 30, or etc. And also we have X, and inside of it we have X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, uh, XL that are belonging to the set of X in uppercase. And all the X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, they are actually lowercase X's. If we can write it somewhere, you it will be kind of more understandable, but uh, right now uh, we have uppercase X and lowercase X. Okay, okay, and X1, X2, X3, X3, and etc. Also we have Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5, Five and and etc. And why as in uh, in the word yoga? Yes, uh, Y O G A. And uh, it is Y. And we have also big Y. Why it is the set again of answers. And also we have Y one, Y two, Y three, Y I. Y I. It means that uh, Y I when I where I is the number of the all the. All, all the Y's, actually. Yes, so Y's uh, as the the plural word for Y's. And uh, the Y, it is actually answers or outputs that we have after the specific X and Y things. Okay, it is kind of easy stuff. I hope that you understand. Also, we have F function. F function as the lowercase F and lowercase F and the mapping from X x uppercase to then arrow to the right <laughs> will be and uh, to the y it is this ah no 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 G jesus christ not 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 this we have f function that is colon then x to the to it is the mapping to the d f actually we'll call it this way d f and f will be the function, a function that calls feature, feature, or features, features. It, it will be the specific features of the objects, and it is the features that are maybe gender, maybe it will be the specific height, weight, also it, it could be length, width, height, depth, and longevity, and maybe some of the score, and numbers, and or one, or zero, or other features. Actually, it is the set of features. Yes, f it is the function, and it is uh, the mapping of x to to d f d f a d b big and f as the lower right index f f small f lowercase, and we have these features actually. Actually, I need to buy, I think so, <laughs> one one board. You remember maybe in when I lived in dormitory, I had the specific uh, white board and uh, where I can write something. And right now I need the same thing, actually, and it will be better. I think so. Okay, we have uh, D the mapping from X to DF, and it is amazing. Next, what do we have? We have also the specific thing, it is an DF, what is it? It is the specific list of kind of, uh, I don't know what's the name of it in English, I need to find it, it is on the tongue of, uh, on the tip of my tongue, it is the specific D of F, uh, D F, it is the specific, uh, we have features, yes, and we have the list of uh, kind of preferable or maybe list of available, available, it will be the right word to, uh, to use, okay, we have D F, it is available features that we can use for it, Jesus Christ, why do I so kind of uh, thinking about uh, what's the word to find, uh, yes, it is nice, but actually, okay, uh, everything's fine, and uh, D, 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 dfx and uh, ma mapping to df and df it is the set uh, everything's fine okay df it is the set of the specific features that uh, could be chosen from actually yes and uh, it is and df could be uh, df the set df actually could be binary it means that uh, 
it is one or zero, it is male or female, it is the yes or no, it is the binary actually. Binary, it could be binary, D and F, also it could be the orderic, or I don't know what's the name of it, orderal, I think so, in English, because I was preparing in Russian, and to when I do preparation in Russian, actually I do translation to you from the words that I had, had read. And, um, okay, I hope that you understand. And to have also specific orderical, it means, uh, what do I mean by orderical or orderal, order, orderal, I think so, it will be correct uh, more. It is the specific one, two, three, four, five, or it could be one, four, six, seven, eleven, twenty-three, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and etc. It, it, it means that it is kind of the specific arranged in arranged, it will be orderically ar arranged list. It could be from zero to a specific or back, uh, it means kind of uh, backwise. <laughs> yes, when it goes from 100, for example, to 3, or from uh, 90 to uh, 82, yes, it means that backwards. It goes backwards or maybe it goes from zero to hero. Okay, and it is uh, the specific, uh, from zero to, 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 to not say metaphorically, from zero to 23, for example, yes, and it goes. And it is uh, the specific uh, numerically in terms of uh, arranged in the specific uh, order. Next, uh, we have, uh, okay, okay, we have binary, we have orderically going, also we have the features uh, that are the specific uh, numbers, actually, quantitative, quantitative, we will call it, it is the specific number of measures, for example, height, depth, length, and etc. And also we have specific, uh, uh, one more set of uh, DFs, it is uh, in Russian language nominative actually called, I think so, or uh, nominative, yes, I think so, nominative, actually it is the specific, uh, actually, the it is not measurable, actually, it is uh, the... And uh, when we speak also about quantitative, quen it is actually measur measurable, nominative, but the difference is that in... <laughs> what the sound? Quantita in quantitative, what do we have in quantitative? In quantitative we have specific things, and uh, in quantitative we have uh, df that belongs to r, where r it is the real numbers. And uh, when we say about nominative, we say about the specific kind of uh, numbers. Actually, I can look at the read, uh, what's on the written form. Let's let's check it. Actually, what what does it mean in in Russian? It is the specific ending ending set. But uh, in here, it is actually uh, not written. It is. It means that we have the specific numbers, and that's all. That's all. It means that it is not the. It is finite. Finite set. Okay. Finite. Finite set. It is the nominative. Okay. And I think it will be better to use it. Okay. Finite set. It is this. Okay. Already we have four different DFs. It is uh, four different types of DFs. We have. Uh, n Let's start from binary, binary or the, or directly. Or directly, it means the specific set that has something, and they are ordered and arranged from the smaller one to the bigger one, from the smaller one to the greater one, or from the greater one to the smaller one. But actually, in most cases, it's from smaller to to the bigger. And also we have nominative, that is the finite set, and also we have df, that is the specific the specific set that belongs to the set of numbers of R. R where R is the real numbers. The set of real numbers, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. And uh, 1.7 and also minus 3, minus 0.4 and uh, I mean that minus 0.4 and etc. Okay, it is the specific real numbers. Real that are kind of, we have natural numbers that we count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and also we have integers that are the integers minus minus 1, minus 2, but actually it is not the specific floating point numbers, and also have specific, how, how to call it correct, it is the specific numbers of, uh, 
it is uh, the numbers, actually real numbers, yes, real numbers uh, were 2.7, 2.3, 3.9 and etc. Okay, we have specific uh, features of this thing. Next, what do we have also? We have specific algorithms, a small, small lowercase a, that goes from x to y, actually I need to learn it about it more, and uh, actually algorithms, it is the specific function that we use to apply to the set of objects to extract some features, to find the features and to do analysis on the features. The goal of our machine learning to find the specific features and to create the specific model to work on the next, to, uh, to uh, that next time, the goal of machine learning actually it is to create the specific kind of, uh, to make the machine think by itself. To make the machine think by itself when we actually go to put to this data and he and its things by itself. It means that it is uh, like it works by itself. Sometimes we can kind of uh, say need to do this, need to do this, but actually everything is fine. And uh, we need to say to this to do this and it will do this. And in most cases, kind of 98, 99%, it will be the correct thing. It will be amazing thing. Or 98 to 100%, it will be the correct. It means that it is amazing. 99 to 100, it will be amazing or even 99.9 .9 to 100 uh, percent it will be amazing and uh, it, it is the goal of our machine learning and our goal to create the specific algorithm uh, to may to to upload some data to the computers, to upload uh, some data to the machines and to make the machines uh, to work with this data through the specific models, through the specific algorithms, we should make this machine to create the specific algorithm by itself and sometimes we can kind of do, do evaluation, we can, we can kind of change it, we can make it uh, better, it means that we have different types of learning. We have supervised learning, unsupervised learning, semi-supervised learning, reinforcement learning and other types of learning by, by machines. And uh, they actually do this and also we can, we can have loss function, loss function Function with this uh, function as I right now will be kind of the information that accuracy of my uh, m my knowledge maybe could be less than uh, than it will be in the future videos. But actually, I hope that it will be nice. Need to do things. Need to need to measure our quality quality q and uh, we need to measure it by the loss function loss function. It is the specific least squared uh, kind of each function. And it is a loss function, it is the measure of how how long from the correct answer we went and how uh, what what are the mistakes we did how, and it is the measurement of mistakeability. It means that we have specific I imagine that we have the specific uh, to task that need to do and loss function and it is actually how many to the uh, and if the task is done actually perfectly done it is 100 percent but it is but when the task done by 97 percent actually loss function it will be kind of three percent in this it is kind of uh, i hope that you understand this uh, situation right now loss function is the measure of the how how kind of uh, on the back side, how on the side we are going. It is, it is the measure of how we have the specific kind of goal, yes, and we have side effects, yes, and it, it measure of side effectability kind of uh, ish. Uh, yes, it is the word that, uh, that I created right now, but I hope that you understand by this word, and uh, it is the specific measure how far, how far, yes, it is the correct uh, thing, uh, the correct word that you need to use, how far from the correct answer we went. It is the measure of loss function, and it is the measure that makes 
helps us to think about empirical risk. Empirical means experience. Empirical risk and it, it makes us think about how to improve our quality, quality of our models, quality of our models of algorithms and quality of our algorithms. Also we have algorithms and we have models of algorithms but actually I need to learn more about it so what's the difference but I can guess in this current state that uh, models of algorithms actually it is the not the car the kind of right y asterisk algorithm it is the specific y a algorithm that goes uh, that model model means kind of the modeling yes and uh, y asterisk it is the kind of the god the god of algorithms and we need to kind of to make our model look <laughs> to make our model look more as the correct algorithm and then input it inside or something i I kind of ish guessing, guessing ish, <laughs> and so uh, we can use it, I hope. Okay, we have this, also we have different types of, okay, we said about different types of features, we said about different types of, okay, we said about features, about algorithms, about objects, about uh, choosing of them, about loss functions, we said also about how to choose it, because sometimes our tasks could be indeterminate, they could be prob probabilityistic, it means uh, probability, uh, probability we have, yes, and uh, prob probabilityistic or probabilistic, probabilistic, I think so, probabilistic, this uh, tasks could be, it means they are indeterminate and it means that uh, they are not determinative and uh, it means that they are kind of 0 0.92 kind of percent that what we need to do and uh, it means that uh, we measure it uh, in probability and uh, the task that's kind of not the fully kind of need to find five apples, no, it means that we need to find something to find the f five kind of apples but something is... Uh, kind of right now is not super mega understandable maybe or maybe understandable but not in the full full manner it means that probability we have some probability 0.95 when i say 0.95 it means 95% and uh, or maybe 0.63 or something as yes, we have probability okay we said about we said about features we we said about, uh, let's start from the beginning about objects objects x answers y about the features f about algorithms a about different types of d d uppercase uppercase d f features also we said about uh, loss function also we have different types of algorithms that we can use and different types of tasks that we can do actually we have uh, clustering task it was i imagine that we have the specific set and we need to cluster everything to the specific kind of um, in in russian language it is uh, when we have the sec cross section with something and uh, we have two sets for example we have i imagine that we have a lot of dots yes right now here and we need to make them kind of this way that here is the red only red dots and here will be only blue dots and they're not inner intersecting between each other it is clustering it is when they are intersected sets it is the clustering task also we have classification also we have the specific a ranking, ranking it means from uh, zero to one, kind of uh, arranging page rank. When we have for the kind of in googling, we have page rank and etc. Also, we have regression tasks and uh, also something else. Ansible also thinks Ansible actually it means that all algorithms they are connected to each other it is ansible when they are connected we have i imagine that uh, simple a simple algorithm simple algorithm and they are connected uh, together it is actually the ansible i think so i understand that uh, right now in this way maybe need to a composition kind the kind of for this uh, in russian they are called cult of comp compositions of algorithms or ansible things ansible learning actually we have the word okay also have different types of algorithms, a lot of them. It is uh, AE, autoencoder, variation, uh, 
autoencoder, variational autoencoder, sparse autoencoder, denoisy autoencoder, also perceptron, long short term memory, a recurrent neural network, deep neural network, deep Boltzmann machine, Boltzmann machine, Markov chain Mo Monte Carlo. <laughs> also, we have uh, long short term memory, as I said before. Also, a restricted Boltzmann machine and uh, something with Turing machine too we have and different types of things and conv convolutional neural networks, uh, deep convolutional neural networks and other features we have here and it is different types of uh, kind of uh, things that we have and it is algorithms in a specific field, uh, ne types of neural networks actually I right now said and also we have different types of regressions, linear regression logistic regression, non-linear regression, rich regression, robust regression, and etc. Also, we have L1, L2 regularization. It means that a regularization, it means kind of we have the specific graph and we need to make it kind of approximated or something kind of to make it to make it truthful more, I think so. I understand it is as this one thing. Also, we have ID3 algorithm, also LASSO algorithm. It is different types of algorithms, actually. EM algorithm expectation maximization algorithm, Alpeida, also Almeida or something. Also, we can read right now the list of outline of machine learning. There are a lot of it. Also, we can use uh, different types of software and different types of frameworks and uh, libraries. Tender, TensorFlow, PyTorch, Cafe, Keras, and also Theano. And uh, also, we can use Deep Learning 4J and uh, also MLPack and etc. Different types of libraries, frameworks and features and also Apache X something or I, I, I don't remember fully. Also different types of boosting we have and gradient descent, stochastic gradient descent and also Ada boost, com boost and different types of these features. Bagging also we have and also we have NLP, NLU, NLG for the text, for texts that we have in our life and uh, to analyze natural language Processing, natural language understanding, natural language generation. Also, we can by using machine learning solve different types of uh, machine translation. We can uh, solve different types of uh, task dialogue system, summarization, also different types of uh, terms, uh, TF uh, terms, frequency, inverted uh, text frequency, or something like this thing. We can use uh, also speech recognition, speech recognition, uh, TFIDF also, and uh, summarization of some, something, taxonomy, bioinformatics with adenine, uh, good, uh, guanine, cytosine, and also timine and uh, ACGT things. So we can use it in this area too. And also to find the truth in some text, to summarize, to create the specific header for the text, to make computer vision, to recognition of patterns, pattern recognition features to also we have and uh, different types of tasks we can use by the machine learning. And okay, it is application we said. We said about different types of algorithms. Also we have bag of words, bagging, boosting and uh, also word to whack, uh, W-O-R-D, two as the number and V-E-C. And we have also N-O-D-E, to VEC, NOT to VEC algorithm, it means uh, NOTE, 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 N-O-D-E to VEC, it means vectors. And also have different types of, in machine learning, used different types of dispersions and statistics features, bias theorem and also naive bias classifier and also Fisher, Fisher discriminant something and uh, also naive bias, Gaussian we use, uh, and also Gaussian, Gaussian we use, uh, it is Gess, uh, and also matrices, vectors we can use, and uh, determinants, minors, and uh, different linear algebra features, also left, left or lower matrix, uh, left or lower triangle matrices, right or upper triangle matrices uh, we can use uh, there also multiplication differentiation integration addition subtraction division 
uh, okay, subtraction, division, multiplication, addition, integration, differentiation, and also exponentiation, and sigmoid functions, argument maximization, argument minimization, and uh, minimization, maximization, and also sigmoid functions, SIGN features, uh, things we can use there too, SIGN, and also summarization, Fourier feature, uh, Fourier transform, fast Fourier transform, and uh, DFT, and discrete Fourier transform, and also entity and numerical tra uh, something transform and, uh, or something we, we have something I remember this so or okay DFT uh, etc uh, DFT FFT we have and also okay DFT FFT and uh, also some of the RGB RGBA HSL HCL HSV HSB CMY CMYK schemes we have model color color mo models we have for the colors there and also okay it is about color also we can use pos.x pos.y pos.z val.x val.y val.z acc.x acc.y acc.z to measure our position velocity and acceleration uh, respectively for the xyz coordinates the also cartesian coordinates we have there and also quaternions octonions sidnions we can use and also triangles uh, rectangles squares rhombuses uh, parallel Holograms, pentagons, hexagons, heptagons, octagons, nonagons, decagons, uh, and dodecagons, and other uh, things in 2D dimensions so we can use uh, to uh, do this. And in 3D, you can use spheres, wedges, prisms, cylinder, cylinders, and uh, and also cubes uh, and uh, icosahedrons, dodecahedrons, octahedrons. Uh, and uh, tetrahedrons and uh, features of this nature. It is actually what we can use here. Polyhedrons, polygons, polyhedrons, uh, polyominoes, uh, polyominoes, uh, dom domino, monomino, trimino, tetramino, pentamino, hexamino, he heptamino, octamino, nonomino, act uh, nonomino, decamino, and etc. And uh, also, okay, it is different types of uh, kind of geometry we have here. Also, some of the constants, pi, tau, and uh, also we can use different types of uh, Greek letters there. Alpha, beta, gamma, eta, zeta, and also xi, and, and uh, chi, and uh, also um, omega, and uh, epsilon, and uh, other, other letters, gamma we can use there, and etc. Okay, it is different types of letters that we are using. Also x, y, z, it is the most frequently used. Q also, g also g as this one thing g uh, uppercase g lowercase and uh, other letters we can use here okay we have different types of algorithms we have different types of uh, symbols uh, and for sets and includes and uh, also we have multiplication and uh, also cross product dot product yes it is important thing too and uh, mathematics okay vectors matrices so we have right now i think actually i'm not so watching at some lists i don't have lists here when i watch uh, when i watch here and actually it is how i think sometimes i look at this <laughs> or that <laughs> Okay, it is what we have. I think so. It is what I named. So we started from the objects, answers, and other features. And right now we end with all the stuff uh, and expectation maximization and uh, regressions and clustering, classifications, ansible learning, Q learning, meta learning, and other features. Also, I'll need something we have ALOPEX algorithm and others. We have actually algorithms, data structures are used to, and we have different types of programming languages JavaScript, Kotlin, C2, PHP, R, Low HTML, CSS, C, C, Sharp, Object, C, Minus, Minus, CS, Risk, Ruby, Rust, Python, VHDL, SQL, Neem, Pike, Erlang, Elixir, Golang, Dart, Hack, Julia, Pony, and x86, some language, Solidity, and other programming languages also have data structures algorithms and other things that you can use actually okay it is uh, the preparation for the exam is uh, what we have also i like to do science work it's amazing and uh, i actually do this from my childhood from the, from the school years in 2014 i won one okay it is already presentation uh, kind of in 2014 i won one 
Paris because I was really active in school and then in my university I also participated and was speaking about quaternions where imaginary units who have i and it equals to <laughs> y squared equals to minus one and so I mean that i i square i squared equals to minus one and i equals to square root of uh, minus one and also have okay logarithms we have also logari logarithmic uh, functions we have okay and so we said about it everything is fine i continue my learning my preparation i hope that you enjoyed this video some things you right now understand better maybe i think so at least i understand better when i said it so it at least i kind of the made them inside of the box the more i speak about it the better i understand it the better i kind of put it in specific boxes kind of who have associations and when i say it uh, and uh, when i uh, say it kind of uh, <laughs> out loud then it is uh, kind of they are measured to some things actually when we think uh, because speaking it is this thinking for me too and uh, sometimes we when we say something we think and when we write something it is as the as uh, as Azimov Isaac Azimov said that uh, thinking for him it uh, that he thinks through typing and it is the th the same thing when we say something we have some associations we have some associations with our mind with our brain and some connections neurons are going <laughs> and it is uh, good it's good let's continue growing let's continue <laughs> doing th good things and see you next time i love you guys and see you bye you're a nice guy or girl bye